pirates in the Gulf of Aden have once again been thwarted by the Royal Fleet Auxiliary Fort Victoria as part of the NATO operation Ocean Shield. A little earlier, I spoke to the commander of the UK Counter Piracy Task Group, Captain Jerry Northwood, and asked him what had happened. One of the merchant vessels that had been had, was uh, captured or held hostage by the pirates since last October, uh, a vessel called um, uh, Liquid Velvet, had left its anchorage at Garakab, which is on the east coast of Somalia, and was heading out to sea. Um, and we were obviously suspicious they might be choosing to use that as a as a mothership. So we were tasked to go and intercept and uh, and disrupt her from that activity. So you say they were going to use it as a mothership. What were they actually going to do, and how did you stop them? It's very it's very difficult to tell precisely what their motive is going to be in in in, uh, in these kind of circumstances. They've used ships that have been held hostage before. Um, to go and help out other pirates to replenish um, existing mother vessels or to use them indeed as, as, as mother ships in their own right. She had um, one of their attack skiffs on board. Uh, she had been out for about um, 50 or 60 hours as she made her way up the coast towards the shipping lane. So some, some very strong evidence there that she was trying to get into a position where she could roam around in the shipping lane and, uh, and intercept international shipping going about its business. So what did you do exactly? Did you just get in the way? What we did is made our, made our presence known. In fact, that was quite that was sufficient um, for her to want to then turn away and try and, and obviously get away from us, but, um, but she was never going to be able to achieve that cause we, with, with our speed advantage. So she then headed back towards her anchorage. Last year, you were involved in another incident where Royal Marines were actually able to board another vessel, the Monte Cristo, an Italian ship. Um, why were you not able to take that kind of action in this situation? It's really a question of whether there's... Um, there's it's a question of judging what, what kind of action you need to take to achieve the aim. In the case of the, Mon uh, the, case of the liquid valve, we have to bear in mind that she uh, has her existing crew on board and they're effectively held hostage by the Somali pirates. The owners of the ship, of course, are in negotiation to, to uh, get the vessel back through the paying of a ransom. So what we don't want to do is end up either jeopardising the um, that, 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 uh, ultimately that ransom negotiation or jeopardise the, the life of the crew. And generally speaking, how is the operation on which you're deployed going? I, th I think it's been going very well indeed. Um, we've had a number of very uh, significant successes. The Monte Cristo, which you mentioned earlier, was, was one of them, where we were able to rescue um, the, the crew of the Monte Cristo from the Somali pirates, and also then see those pirates, those, those uh, Somalis, handed over to the Italian authorities. And then more recently, we, have, we intercepted a, a series of um, whaler um, pirate action groups. These are larger open boats that they use further south, and we intercepted a, um, a, couple, of, uh, a couple of those with all their attack skiffs. 